Hi guys, your friendly neighborhood Twitch here. And today I'm doing something a bit different. I usually brush my paint on, but today I'm using a sprayer. So I'll be spraying all of the caboodle kitchen parts for my mum's new kitchen that's going into her house. That house there. Don't look at my car. And so we ordered them raw. So these are all the panels and they're all raw and unpainted. It saved, I think, three, saved her $3,000. Um, so it's a bit of extra work for me, but I volunteered to do it, so that's not a problem. Um, and if it saves her $3,000 that she can put towards something else, like buying herself a new car, uh, since she sold everything or gave away everything and sold a house down in Tassie, she's starting from scratch, pretty much. Um, so if I can save her some money, then that's awesome. How about I start by showing you my setup. So I'm using the Ryobi Airwave air compressor. I can put the link for this in the description. This is the one that was recommended to me. It's a good air compressor so far. I've only used it for sanding so far, but I'm happy with it. Um, I'm using the El Cheapo Ozito three-piece gravity feed spray gun kit which I have yet to take out of the box and use, so this is going to be a full setup and first time use. And I'm using, of course, Carts and Lily paint. They don't have labels on them because she ran out of labels when I ordered them and I needed a rush on it because I thought we were, you know, only going to have a week to get this kitchen sorted and then Bunnings stuffed us around and it's all been pushed back. So the kitchen's not getting installed until about mid to late December. And mum has picked mint button. So it's a really soft kind of, it's a kind of like a bluey green, I guess. I think the um, unpainted door behind it is might be throwing it off. Let's find some white. That looks white enough. Nope. Nope. All right, never mind. I digress. Alright, so this is my setup. So what I've done is I've got, um, I think they're like six or eight dollars. They're just like the really thin, crappy shower curtains from Kmart. I've got three of those and I've used bulldog clips to hang them up. This will hopefully only be a temporary setup. I would like to frame this corner in and then I'll probably use the same sheets or I'll use the sheets from plastic sheets from Sleep Brushes Australia and staple it all onto the framing so that it's all nice and firm and tight and great. Um, Mum specifically doesn't want me to get paint all over the concrete which I understand so I've got one of the um, plastic sheets from Sleep Brushes Australia and I've literally used table legs to hold it down in parts and then I've cut along this section in a very crooked manner and used some sleep tape to tape it down to the concrete so that I don't you know trip over it and lift it up and ruin my amazing spray booth yeah make do with what we've got right oh wait so this <laughs> well this is all the stuff I'm spraying all of these parts so all of that there's a couple of pieces there which I'm gonna start with um, these pieces here I think that piece there not the marble top and kickboards. So I've got a lot of crap to spray. So let's get on with it. All right, so before I got too carried away with unpacking everything, I wrote down the item number or the part number on the back of each piece. All 
Alright, so I used the gravity fed spray gun kit from Ozito that you can get from Bunnings. I won't go into too much detail about it because I'm by no means an expert on it and there are heaps of videos out there that have all the information that you need for using this kit. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of it but I think that was more a case of my laziness and not wanting to clean and prepare and set everything up so I ended up selling all of this. So I thought spraying would be the way to go for these cabinet doors because of all the grooves in it and I thought the spraying would just get help get right into those grooves but in actual fact it kind of just, it really just didn't want to go in there. Um, if I was going to do this again or, or if anyone else was doing these exact cupboard doors or something like this and you're going to be spraying, um, I would suggest getting a piece of sandpaper and as fiddly as it sounds, going in and smooth sanding all those grooves because they're kind of fibrous and just the paint just didn't want to settle in those grooves. Uh, my back also got really sore doing it like this so I would highly suggest having everything up a lot higher. So as far as the paint itself goes, I had absolutely no trouble spraying with this paint. Uh, most of my, most of what I disliked about spraying is the actual tools themselves and the action, like the movements and everything. My wrists and my thumbs, my knuckles got really sore doing this because I've got problems with my wrists and my joints. Um, but as far as the paint itself, um, it actually sprayed really well and sprayed really evenly and got, of course, a really nice smooth finish on it because it has um, self-leveling thingies. <laughs> um, I, was, I was going too well there, I knew it. So by this point I was realising that I was going to run out of mint button before I got the job done so I started using a primer which I should have been using right from the start. I know I should have primed all of these pieces before painting them but I'm not sure why I didn't, just a lapse in judgement I guess, um, we all have them. But yeah, using Katsumili, uh primer and adhesive bond and as you can see, I have swapped over to a roller because I think this is where I realized that, you know, the gravity fed spray gun just wasn't for me. So I used a brush to help get the primer into all of the grooves. I kind of had to just like, you know, rub it in there with the brush to get it in. Um, the roller certainly 
did its job very well when it came to these much larger pieces and worked really well with the primer. Because all of these pieces were raw before I painted them, uh, they do need some smooth sanding, but it really didn't take much at all. I just used a piece of 400 grit sandpaper and just gently ran that over all of the surfaces. So now that this piece is primed, I'm back to using mint button. Don't tell me, don't ask me what roller I'm using because I cannot remember. It was ages ago and I don't think we have it anymore. But now that it is all primed and sanded smooth, it is going on so much better with the roller. So if you take anything away from this video, I would highly suggest using a roller to paint these cabinets. All right, so I started off sealing these with Monocell water-based satin clear coat uh, to try and eliminate any streakiness from the clear coat because this isn't my first choice. Um, I'm adding some of the mint button to it It also to try and help dull down a bit of the sheen because Monocell tends to be a bit glossier than I prefer for a satin sheen. So one of the reasons why I'm not using the Cartamilli Satin Clear Coat is because I didn't have much on hand and we needed to get this done like right now because we're expecting the kitchen to be installed. But as you know, that kept getting pushed back more and more and more and it just didn't happen. So there wasn't actually any need for me to rush and I could have just used carts and milling. The other reason, um, I also, I only clear coated this one and not the rest because I decided that whilst it's being installed, it's going to take a few dings and dents and stuff like that and get knocked around. It'll be easier for me to um, repaint those parts that need touching up without the clear coat and then I'll just go in and clear coat everything after it's been installed. Alright so flash forward to the 2nd of May 2022 and the entire kitchen has finally been installed after many 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 hiccups thanks to Bunnings. Love your Bunnings but you need to work on some things. Um, not getting into that. Anyway the kitchen has been installed and you would have seen part of it in the last video that I put up for the upper cabinet doors. Um, but let's go and have a look and I'll see if I can get my mum on camera to let you know what she thinks of the kitchen. Alright, so here is the kitchen. This is how the mint button turned out on the cabinets. It turned out absolutely amazing. Um, looks bloody brilliant with those handles the finish on it is gorgeous and if it was me i'd be leaving it as is because it just feels amazing but mum wants them clear coated obviously for protection and to make it easier to clean and whatnot um, so as you would have seen i still need to finish this part up here before that door goes on but that's irrelevant to this um, and there's a few little marks and stuff from the install that need to be cleaned and touched up with paint. But then once the floor and everything is in place and I've got a clean run at it, I will go through and clear coat everything with Cuts and Millie Clear Coat because, you know, I know that that's going to have a good finish on it and it's going to be durable and it's going to look great. Same as the last video, stick with what you trust. All right, let's go and see if I can get my mum to uh, get on camera, eh? What do you mean, why can't I do it? Because they don't want to know what I think of the kitchen. They want to know what you think of the kitchen. All right, go. <laughs> don't you dare. All right. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you off camera. What do you think? <laughs> I've probably gone my own business with my front half and I get talked about it. <laughs> what do you think? 
I love it. You know I love it. It's gorgeous. I love that minty blue. Um, I don't know. I don't know colours. But I love it with the brass and the white and the rest of my kitchen. And I love my glass cabinets that you need for paint it for me. Um, it's all come together. And it just, yeah. Glad, glad we did it, this car. It's just gorgeous. So fresh and light and beachy in the dry pocket of Ipswich <laughs> with all bargains. <laughs> what bargains? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so maybe that was a bit mean. I shouldn't have just dumped it on her like that. But, um, yeah. That was me mother, Cheryl. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and Say hi to me mum in the comments. Um, and yeah, I will see you on the next one. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs>